Hello there. Today I watched Showing Up, and now I want to tell you about it. Showing Up is a slice of life film that follows a sculptor in the weeks leading up to her art show. It was written and directed by Kelly Richard, and Jonathan Raymond co wrote the story. The story delves into the life of Lizzie the Sculptor, played by Michelle Williams. Lizzie has a show coming up, and she's trying to get her big piece done in time. She's working non stop, but life seems to find ways of distracting her. Her apartment's water heater broke and her landlord slash friend isn't getting around to fixing it. Her dad is letting strangers crash on his couch and her brother is in a dark place. When her cat mauls a bird and she ends up caring for it, the stress of her life starts to interfere with her work. Lizzie does everything she can to hunker down and make it in one piece to her show. The story as it's presented is barren of any real content, emotion, or even drama. It's an incredibly boring film that doesn't have a point. It's quite literally just following this woman around as she deals with trivial problems, most of which are the result of her own decision making. The film doesn't do much in the way of character development, there are no major conflicts, and the closest we get to any kind of deeper meaning is a few throwaway metaphors. There isn't any humor, no visual gags or jokes, nothing to make you laugh or cry, get excited or even upset. The closest this film comes to emotion is when a character disappears mysteriously, but even then they take the easy way out and nothing happens. Watching this film is kind of like listening to your boring friend tell you about their week. Visually, the film is made up of a series of long still shots of this woman's day. They'll set the camera down and just watch her as she works on her sculptures, or cares for the bird. The average length of the shots is much higher than most films because they like to spend a lot of time focused on the characters and their expressions. It constantly feels like you're waiting for something to happen, but nothing ever does. The closest the film gets to being visually interesting is when they shoot Lizzie interacting with people in artistic environments. There's an art class with a nude male model, different people working on their pottery, portraits and paintings, and a few different art displays. The art in these spaces is interesting to look at when it's on screen, but the camera doesn't usually spend long in those areas. It just gives us a quick glance through and then they move on to a normal space. Sound wise, the film doesn't use music except for the beginning, end, and ambiently. There are instances of music in the environment, but they are the character hearing someone play the flute or music that's playing in the space. They're not prominent and don't last for more than a few seconds at a time. The silence gives the film a more grounded feel, and there are some instances where we can bask in the ambient noise of the environment, but it also takes a lot of flavor out of the film. There were a lot of moments where a soft song would have given a burst of life and made the scene much more interesting. They also had a few audio problems throughout the film with how quietly people spoke. I struggled to hear what was said on the phone every time, and there was one instance of a gentleman talking to Eric in the office that I just couldn't hear at all. As far as the cast goes, there isn't much to say. They're all playing normal people just going about their days. The vast majority of the screen time goes to Michelle Williams' Lizzie, with Andre 3000 playing a small role as Eric, her co-worker, and Hong Chow playing a slightly larger role as Lizzie's friend and landlord, Joe. They're all good at expressing the right emotions, but the film doesn't ask much of them. The only drama we get is from Michelle Williams and Hong Chow, and it's a mild argument at its worst. There are no big speeches, no monologues, no emotional outbursts, just normal well-adjusted people and a guy who's a little off his rocker appearing near the end. No one stands out because there's nothing for them to stand out with. Lizzie isn't portrayed as a likable character by the film, and we don't learn enough about anyone else to bond with them as people. Overall, showing up as a boring art house film with very little to offer. The story is about trivial problems and how they stack up, and watching a normal woman deal with them. There's nothing to keep you invested, there's no conflict, and there are no likable characters. The visual journey is fairly straightforward, but it's also quite boring, and the soundtrack just doesn't exist. The cast has nothing to do, so none of them stand out either. I'm honestly not sure how films like this get made. Was no one watching where all this money was going? 3 out of 10. And remember, these are just my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Bye bye